Sakti Dental Clinic Mullu Kurachi. There are several types of periodontal surgery, each designed to address specific aspects of periodontal disease. Some of the most common types of periodontal surgery include 1. Pocket Reduction Surgery This surgery is also known as gingivectomy or flap surgery. It is used to remove bacteria and disease tissue from deep pockets that have formed between the gums and teeth. During the surgery, the gum tissue is lifted away from the teeth, allowing the dentist or periodontist to remove the bacteria and tartar from the roots of the teeth. The gum tissue is then repositioned and sutured back into place. 2. Bone Graft Surgery This procedure is used to replace missing or damaged bone around the teeth. The bone graft material may come from the patient's own body, a donor, or a synthetic source. The bone graft material is placed in the area where the bone has been lost, and over time, it integrates with the existing bone to provide support for the teeth. 3. Soft Tissue Graft Surgery This procedure is used to address gum recession that has occurred as a result of periodontal disease. During the surgery, a small piece of tissue is taken from another part of the patient's mouth and attached to the area where the gum tissue has receded. This helps to restore the gum tissue to its original position and protect the roots of the teeth. 4. Crown Lengthening Surgery This procedure is used to expose more of the tooth surface, making it easier to place a filling or crown. During the surgery, the gum tissue is repositioned or removed to expose more of the tooth structure. 5. Dental Implants While not technically a surgery for periodontal disease, dental implants are often used to replace teeth that have been lost due to advanced periodontal disease. The implants are placed in the jawbone and act as a replacement for the tooth root, providing support for a prosthetic tooth or bridge. 6. Regenerative Procedures These procedures involve the use of grafts or membranes to stimulate the growth of new bone and tissue in areas that have been damaged by periodontal disease. 7. Gum Graft Surgery This surgery involves the use of tissue from another part of the mouth to cover exposed tooth roots and prevent further gum recession. Periodontal surgery can be performed using a variety of techniques, including traditional surgical methods and laser surgery. The specific approach used will depend on the individual needs of the patient and the severity of their condition. After surgery, patients will typically need to follow a strict oral hygiene routine to promote healing and prevent further gum disease. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.